who will remember us when we are gone. You are still a child. You don't understand that what I do is greater than the both of us. When I am done, no one will ever fear death again. That is worth everything. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video this is going to be the finale of my Death's Gambit walkthrough. But before we get started guys remember if you are liking this series or if you have loved this series remember to destroy that like button and support my channel. Now we are just at the, well we're actually picking up from where we left off so what you want to do is there are actually a few things we're going to do today I'll try and keep these as short as possible but there was one thing we actually forgot to get so we want to go on this ladder um this first part of this video is going to be all about the guy and relics that I was talking about in the last video now I said in the last video if you missed it was that I'm not going to get all of the guy and relics um pretty much to this day I have three playthroughs going I have this one um Actually, I have my very first playthrough that I did, and obviously this one, and I've got myself a major one going as well, but only on one of these characters that I've actually got all the guy in relics. Now, why would you say that? Well, first of all, um, because of how crap they are, um, what you get for it is shit. I think I have two. One, two... Yes, I've got two. So what I'll do is I'll show you where they are, but the very last one is the hardest one to get, and I'll just show you why. Oh, bastard guy. Here's one of them, right there. We're going to plume straight out of here. And the next one... We're going to have to go back to Sanctuary and get it. These two are not hard to get. It's the very last one that's a pain in the ass to get. Now you're probably thinking, well, hold on, Noisy, why are you not getting it? Well, it's not that I can't get it. It is very, well, I'm finding it very hard to get. You actually have to fight the heroic version of the Forgotten Gaian. Now, when I first fought the Forgotten Gaian, I swear I did about a hundred tries. I must have been sitting there for like an hour trying to beat him. And when I finally did, when I finally got the motherfucker... Um, we need to come here actually. When I finally got it, I was actually quite pissed off with what we get for getting it. So, here's the other one right here. So, now we have four, I think. One, two, three, four. Yes, we have four. I should have saved first, shouldn't I? Oh well. Alright guys, while we head on back on our horse, obviously you can just call him real quick. Um, yes, what you actually get for getting all of these guy and relics is just five immortal lines. So you get the surging aura as well, but that's actually not a... It's actually not a... Um, you actually get it for defeating the golden knight that's guarding the entrance. So the point I'm trying to make here is that it's a real lackluster... Um, Actually, why have I even gone down here? I wonder if I can... It's a real lackluster uh, prize that you get for finding all the relics. Should be able to get a bit. Oh, I haven't died very much. Uh, so much for that. Um, yeah, you actually... It's just five immortal light you get for it. You get an immortal light for each relic. Now, I thought there was going to be some s sweet armor or some badass, you know... A weapon or something like that, but it wasn't, man. It was just that, and I was actually quite pissed off for what we had to do, so... Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it. So you pretty much have to come up here, where we found Snail Bro Alistair. Come up here, and this is where the Forgotten guy is. And you go into this here, and you fight him now. I'm probably a little bit under-leveled for this, to be totally honest. Um, my gear's not too bad, but... 
oh, you know what, I'll just do it once, and when I get my ass kicked, we'll go from there. So, you have to fight the Forgotten, ro forgotten Guy in heroic version, oh, such a pain in the ass, man, like honestly. Ugh. No oh, fuck. Now it's it's the ads that are the hardest part, so I will grant you a swift death. Oh my god, I'm going fucked up. Oh, what? What I thought that's pretty good. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Oh, I'm getting fucked up now. Oh no, and then we come across these fuckers. Oh, what? And then you get hit by those fucking things, which is just bullshit. Oh no. Oh fuck, I swear I'm getting that right. Oh, come on, really? Oh, damn. See, that's bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit. So that's pretty much it. That's why I hate that fucking boss. Um, I don't know, my pairing is a bit off, but I can usually take her out. Oh, man, I'm all the way back here, too. Can I just reclaim my plume from here? Ooh, just... Not too worried about that. Anyway, let's uh, divide these up too. So that's pretty much it. You have to fight her. Um, I think she's hard as fuck, to be totally honest. I really do. I hate fighting her. Um, I'll probably get rid of that too. I might actually bring in... This guy in blood. It actually in increases endurance regeneration by 100% for 14 seconds. So I might just slap that on see how we go. So if you can get that fifth guy in a relic and you really want to get the trophy or something like that, you actually know where he is. It's probably just me, um, because I actually beat him with the... Shit, what was it? I actually beat him with my longsword. Now, I've mentioned it time and time again, this one consumes a hell of a lot more stamina, so... And because I'm constantly, you know, swimming for stamina, having this weapon is just not ideal, man, but, you know... Good luck to you if you can do it. Um, I'm not going to in this walkthrough. I just don't see the point, especially when you only get five Immortal Light Stones for doing it. So I think it's just a big fucking waste of time. If it had something really good, like some sort of um, special weapon or armor, then I would definitely spend the time doing it. But not in this one. It's only a matter of time until your mind rots and betrayal seeps into your thoughts. What's going, what's going into you? I wish to destroy the source just like you. We see through your deception. The ruse ends now. Why did she talk? Oh fuck. Now I just suggest running through past these guys. Um, if you do end up killing them, they are not at the... Um, they are not at Sanctuary, so be careful of that. Let's just go straight up here. Now, it's pretty funny because we're coming to the end of this game and it's really... I don't know, I've just enjoyed this game so much. Um, hopefully you guys have too, and if you have, remember to destroy that like button, guys. Love everyone who's come and supported this. Love every single one of you. Get my thanks out of the way now. We have our idol right here. Now I'm going to go in at a 6-4 split. Um... 5-5 five, five is probably not too bad. I seem to have trouble, a lot of trouble when I fight Endless for some reason. You know, I've, I've fought people like the Bisurge and I've found them a lot easier, but I could be wrong. We'll see how we go. I haven't actually fought her with the with this one before, so uh, let's have a crack. Are you not sick of death? <coughs> your friends? Your mother? Your legacy lie in ruin. No, not yet. So long as you lie dead at my feet. Would it be worth it then? Just to see me dead? Yes, in killing you, my actions will ripple through the ages. 
I will be remembered. My mother's sacrifice will be remembered. And you? You will be forgotten. Look around at these decrepit statues. They were built to immortalize the ascended, to honor their memory. But can you name any of them? <laughs> no one can. Not anymore. So tell me, who will remember the commoners when they are gone? Who will remember us when we are gone? You are still a child. You don't understand that what I do is greater than the both of us. When I am done, no one will ever fear death again. That is worth everything. Ooh. Once the plague of immortality begins to spread, it will spell ruin for the world as you know it. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Face me! Oh shit. How many times have you died trying to reach me? Is all your pain worth it? You lack the conviction to do what is necessary. Oh, the people of Vardos must learn the truth. Only I can free them from their pain. Boom. You, you were forged by war. But I knew a time before it. When you continue to feed into this cycle of death. Soren, if you destroy it, all immortals will die. And I... I will not endure this torture again. Ask yourself if it's worth it. By virtue of the divine order, her life is already forfeit. God damn. What are you waiting for? This is your moment. The culmination of your struggle. End it all. Embrace your Destiny. Embrace your destiny. That sounds really Star Warsy right there. Well, we were sent here to die, but we persevered. Take that bitch. Oh, what the fuck? I should have known you'd never understand. After all, that was your conviction. And you are my blood. Bam, bam, bam. The reveal. Okay, so now you guys have to make a choice here. You can either take on endless fear. Endless sadness or endless rage. Now I, I've found that endless fear is probably the hardest. Um, fuck, I'm only on two plumes. We're gonna get fucked up. I know that much. Do I have any guy in leaves? I do. Oh fuck. by my acolyte Zuma. Do pay him a visit. Oh. We were sent 
Sent here to die, but we persevered. <laughs> No, 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 no. Just got you. Open your mind to him. Embrace the dark. Free yourself from your earthly constraints. Boom, bitch. Hey. Can you ask me to kill my own? How can you ask me to kill my own mother? Your mother's life was forfeit the moment she left for the expedition. What you see before you is a woman sustained through dark magic. She will degrade into the thralls you slaughtered to get here. Blood for blood. That is the only way. Soren, destroy the source and free your mother. It's come to this, has it? Betrayed by my own son. A pawn of this creature. How do you even know he is who he says he is? Only those who are at my door can see me. You've been an absent guest for the past several years. It's time you leave this mortal realm. Damn, son. Oh. oh no, fuck, fell off the edge, fuck. All you've done is caused yourself more grief. Damn, that sucks. Do I have to do it all again? I think I do. Yatch. Don't deserve this, alright? Boom! Take that, you bitch! 
I thought I might have been a little bit underleveled for that, but I guess Sorry. not. Took a couple of tries, but not too bad. Oh, you must. But no. There was never a moment that you weren't in my thoughts. I couldn't live with myself for leaving you behind. Returning to you one day kept me going. Nothing. Nothing makes me happier. Than to see you here now. I'm sorry I failed you. As a mother. I wish I could have spent more time with you. Sorry. <laughs> Don't make the same mistakes I did. I may not have been there for you in life. But I will always be with you. In death. So, live. Like for a 2D scroller, man. That is just, you know. And this is obviously how you want to fight her if you need to, but for the heroic battle. But all you need to do now is just to destroy this, so let's do it. And that's pretty much the game, guys. I think there's credits or it's just a little bit of a story. Here we go. So once you've destroyed that orb, it pretty much destroys everyone who's immortal out there. And you end the cycle of immortality, so this is just a screen going through everything of everyone who was, who was immortal, and I'm fucking happy those motherfuckers are dying. <laughs> but all in all, it's actually sad to see this walkthrough end, because I really enjoyed showing everyone just how great this game really is. It does have its flaws, there's no doubt about it. But really, really cool. I'll keep quiet for a second, and when the credits start rolling, I'll give a quick review at the end. Got the boys together. The team. And Ulrika is probably my favourite out of all of them. Look at her, man. She's just so cool. Death's Gambit. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the final... The finale of Death's Gambit. Obviously, White Rabbit have done a such good uh, job in designing this game. You know, 2D pixel art is not really my thing, but when you can stop and enjoy a game like this, it is actually really humbling to realise that such a simple game can give you such joy, so... Anyway, all the start, uh, giving this game a bit of a review, um, overall, easy 10 out of 10. Highly enjoyed this, highly, highly enjoyed this. Um, the different styles and games you can do, the builds you can do on this is actually Dark Souls Bloodborne like. Um, also, I think the thing that stands out the most out of this, like, it is a 2D scroller. Like, come on, there's no real massive, um, you know, game graphics and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, this can hold it. Oh, actually, well, the score, the music of this game can hold it with any AAA game, in my opinion. The music is what captures the people, um, captures the fans of this game, and I just give that a massive 10 out of 10. Um, gameplay, obviously 2D side-scrolling, you know, there's parries, all this kind of stuff, different weapons, not bad at all, man. Um, highly enjoyed the enemies as well, even the ones that I couldn't beat, like I was talking before about the heroic Forgotten Gaian, pain in the ass um, um, boss to fight, but it's, again, like Dark Souls, once you beat them, it's so satisfying. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The um, Obviously, the, the voice acting was just phenomenal. The score, phenomenal. Gameplay, phenomenal. And that's just pretty much all I can say about the game. Just phenomenal. A solid 10 out of 10 for me. Well, anyway, guys, I might just leave it right there and wrap this series up. So, if you have enjoyed this series so far, remember to like my shit, subscribe to my shit, and if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, because I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comments section below. I am your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always, guys, stay noisy.